happening now. Parents in one local school district are extremely upset tonight. They just found out about a change in a locker room policy that has one family suing. They claim their son found himself changing in the same room as a student born a female who now identifies as a boy. Our Seanette Wilson is following this case live in Boyertown tonight. And Seanette, parents tell you tonight that they didn't know anything about the policy until they found out about the lawsuit. Yeah, Don, so one parent we talked to off camera says it isn't as much about the change in policy, but it's the fact that they say the school district allegedly didn't notify parents about it. Meanwhile, others we talked to agree with the family that filed the lawsuit, saying that this is a violation of privacy. I think we should be made aware of these things. I mean, I would have wanted to know. That they were planning on doing this. A change in the locker room policy at Boyertown High School has Lori Engstead upset. Her son is a student there. She says school officials didn't notify her or her son that a student born female who identifies as a boy is now allowed to use the boys' locker room. I'm not thrilled with it. Um, a girl should be in the girls' locker room, boys should be in the boys' locker room. Many parents found out about it today after an 11th grade boy and his family filed a lawsuit against the Boyertown School District. A lawyer for the 17 year old says he was changing in the boys' locker room when he noticed the other student undressed there too. The girl is identifying as a boy, but she's still biologically female. Kelly Fedoric is legal counsel representing the family on behalf of Alliance Defending Freedom. She says the school is violating students' right to privacy. It's common sense that boys and girls shouldn't be forced to shower or take their clothes off in, in front of a member of the opposite sex in an intimate facility. She says the boy and his family have met with school officials about respecting students' privacy, but says they've gotten nowhere. Instead, they told our client that he needed to tolerate uh, the situation and act as natural as possible when a girl entered and took her clothes off in, in this locker room with, with boys everywhere. So we're asking the, the court to uphold, you know, federal and state law is very clear that every child has a right to privacy and that school officials have a duty to respect that right to privacy. Matt Angstead, an 11th grader at the school, says he will likely go along with the change, but he doesn't like it. I wouldn't really feel the most comfortable changing next to a girl and I don't think, I can almost guarantee you, a girl definitely would not feel comfortable changing next to a guy. If this was a guy going in a girl's locker room, I feel like it would be a huge deal. And some parents here are also concerned about whether bathrooms here in the district will be next, uh, since that has been a controversial issue all across the country. Meanwhile, we did contact the superintendent's office earlier today for a statement. We are still waiting to hear back from them. Ian? All right. Thanks, Seanette.